In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a drop down list like this one that we have here with multiple options for years. Okay, so there's a few ways in which you can enter this into the spreadsheet. The first one, which is one of my favorites, you just use at. So you do at and then you start typing drop downs. So here it is drop downs. And you see it added a drop down. And then what we're going to do is we have the range. For now, we're just doing this to sell B3. Then the criteria here is you leave it at drop down. And here we have 2020 in gray. So we're going to add another uh, item. I'm going to change the color. And this I'm going to write 2021. Add another item, another color, 2022. Add another item, another color, 20, 23. And again, you don't have to change the colors. You could use the same color for all of the items. I'm just doing this to be fancy. Uh, okay, I have all that I need done. So you come here to the drop down and you can see that you have the options now to use the drop down for the years. Now, of course, once this is done, you can uh, simply just come to the cell and uh, drag it down to copy the format. But I want to show you a couple of different ways of doing it. So the next one, you can come, uh, you select the cell where you want to drop down. Then you come here to insert. Yeah, you come down to drop downs. You click on it and then you do the same thing that we did before. Um, I'm going to remove the rule now. I just wanted to show you how to get it to it. And another way of doing it is just right clicking on the cell. And again, you are going to have the option here to add a drop down. So at drop down, insert drop down, or right click and drop down. And as always, if you want to remove the rule, we just make sure that we come to the cell and you can come here to the edit button and you can remove the rule.